and we're back to playing Banjo Tooie. And my first stream of all. So last time we saw the game up and we did Mayhem Temple and a lot of Little Gulch Mine. Today we're going to try to finish up a little bit of Little Gulch Mine and then move on to the next world, which it might be as my personal favorite, but let's stop there, hit Dally, and let's go. So every time you boot the game back up, you always start at the beginning of Ginger Village, and that can be useful because it's a lot of exploration you can do on the other one itself, so I'm not going to do that right now, I'm going to wait until we clear a few more worlds too, but the option to have it is nice, but we're going to go back to the plateau and do some more stuff with the Little Mine. At the very least, we have another race of Kinemi to do, and... The first one was such a thrill, the second one's gonna be even more so. But not for the right reasons. Especially with that old Nintendo 64 controller. Alright. She over here. No, she's at the other end. Alright. Let's tell on Charlie over there. Oh, and in case you're new here, I'm playing the original Nintendo 64 version of the game, so it doesn't look as crisp, it's got slow frame rate, and I'm sorry, but it's the only version I have, so that's the version I'm going to make do with. Okay, just gonna make my way over there and check up on a few things while I'm doing so, but... Okay, let's go Mary. Let's talk to her. Let's do this next space. Alright. And this time I have a special surprise for anyone watching, all zero of you. Alright, ready? And here we go. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can do this. Alright, come on, come on. Bit of a bad start there, but hopefully we can pick up a bit afterwards. Alright. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Ugh. This is heck of my thumbs, but I'm sure I can manage. Come on. Come on. Hey, 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 I wish you could mess B2, but that's not an option. I just have to press the one button. And... Come on. You can do this. You can do this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it together. Come on. Oh, I almost gave out in... this. I'm sorry about that, but that was a mashup by a guy named Hitsumi on YouTube. He combines a lot of video game music, specifically like rare, rare and western music, with uh, this really crappy anime called Chargeman Ken. I think it's hilarious, and I was looking for an excuse to blast that, so... So I've been being so up doing though, I forgot I had my speakers turned up like that. It should be an issue now, but... Yep, we have not seen the last of Kaname, and... This is a piece of cake compared to what awaits us later. And we only have a uh, full Gino pages. Alright, so let's see how much... Okay... I know how you get one of the jiggies here, but I forgot what the other one is. I think you need moves later on to get them, so I'm just gonna call a day with the stream. Thank you, but no, I'm gonna call a day on the Glow Gulch Mine and probably move on to the next world, and for good reason too. Namely, it's probably my favorite world in Banjo Chewie. Maybe I'll regret saying that now, but later, perhaps. 
I don't know. It's, it's someone always took it to me when I was a kid, and I can't wait to revisit it again. Alright. Okay. Let me go see. Do I have enough honeycombs for another health extension? I don't think I do, but I'll go and check. Okay. That's low tolls, I think. Is this a... I don't have one, I can't do an upgrade. But... Oh! Okay. So there's two pathways. There's one which we can't access, it's blocked off. But there's one over here that we opened earlier for plagues so that we're going to check out. I also do kind of like how you have following the tr tracks left by the Hag One, because the crats are getting closer and closer to the new lab in this game. And it's just a bit gradual. There's another wigwam here, but we can't do anything with number one but just yet. So we're gonna have to... That's gonna ha have to wait for a little bit. But for now, let's go into World 3! And this is Witchy World. And again, as I said before, this is like... Oh. Oh, this is just like not up and out. Uh, this is the... My favorite world from Magic Theory is the creepy theme park circus thing going on here, and I don't know, something about it just always stuck out to me. Something about it just came, came off as really... I don't know. I think it's one of the few instances of a darker and gloomy world in Magic Theory than I did. Whoops, I actually went and forgot something. I'm gonna go and get that quickly before I do this as well. Sorry about that. Where is he? Where's Jam Jaws? He's over there. How did I miss him? I'm such a silly Billy. Let's see. Alright. For blasting things, those eggs were made. Don't stand close when you fire a grenade. And like that, we have the third egg type, the grenade eggs. You may have recognized that if you've played like Smash Bros. Ultimate, perhaps. These are the strongest egg types you can get in this game. They do the most damage, but there's three catches. One, you only have 25 instead of like 50 or 100. Two, they file slowly compared to the other egg types, and thirdly, you can eat yourself with them. I just did that as a demonstration, I'm not gonna do that again, but. You absolutely need these eggs too for the boss of this world, so. Make sure you pick those up before you really get into this world. Richie world, because you're gonna need them. Okay, let's go talk about that strange person over there. And it looks like Banjo Kazooie's boggy in a dress. And so, and it's his wife. We didn't see her at all in the first game, and probably for a good reason. But this right here, not her, but the little mission she's gonna give you. Oh wow, widescreen TV. How incredible, how amazing. I'm playing on right now, honestly, but. Anyways. She wants you to rescue her kids from, at least got them up in this park, but you can't do that all in, in one go. You have to, like, revisit, check out the later levels to even have an opportunity to do so. And I just opened up a burger stand. And, ugh. I don't think it's a wise idea to be operating a burger stand. At least not in 2020, because... Yeah, he was sneezing on the burgers, and that's gross in general, but... God knows what it's gonna be, what it'd be like if it was open in 2020, but... This is a champagne park apparently run by Gruntilda, so... There's one thing I kinda like about Chibi compared to Kazooie. You go for all these worlds for, like, magical portals, in Quintero's Land, the first game, but in this game, they're all part of one big 
well, one big island. Like, these are actual locales on an island you're visiting, not just magical worlds for a painting or a portal or anything. Oh, oh. Lovely map guy. Uh. We'll go and see him in a bit, but. In the first Banjo Kazooie and Mumbo's Mountain, the first world, there was this giant gorilla named Konga who threw oranges at you, and you got like a third of the world's shikis from him. He's quote unquote the first boss you deal with, but he's unremarkable. There's a poll at DK Vine, a website favorite right now, which basically is ranking the best first world bosses, and Konga is like near bomb for me. But he's anyway, I bring him up because he's back in Tui and he doesn't do much here honestly, but there he is, for those who played the first game and now we've also opened up a fly stand with Salty Joe here. I don't know why the food seems to be sold individually here, but this is a county run by a skeletal witch, so you got me. Oh and here's a what was this place called? Like Madame Grunty's fortune telling and it's kind of random what happens when you go in here, but I'll go ahead and here anyways, just to showcase. Ah. Yeah, most of the time she'll beat the crap out of you if you go in there, but sometimes when you go in there she'll replenish your health, your items, or she'll give you a, a cheat code. Let's see if we can get the cheat code. Okay, that was just nice considering you beat me up, so that's the least you could do. Alright, well, let's try again. What's with the music here? It's very distinct. It's not like a reanimation of the Witchy World theme. It's like very unique and. Yep, there we go again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? If all my fortunes end with me getting beaten, why do I keep coming back in for more? And how's going to get away with it? I don't need red feathers right now, but thank you. Okay, two more times. If I don't get anything out of these two, I'll go and leave. And do other stuff. Okay, didn't need that either, but... Okay, what do I get this time? Okay, that was cool. And yeah, she closed down. I can't do any more at all, so. At least not right now. Okay. Let's grab this. And those tickets are gonna be needed to access a special area, but not gonna be for later. We're gonna save the main event the last, so to speak. Okay, we kind of slip up the puck a little bit, so let's still go with the zombie areas up close and personal. Nice little detail of a train, I don't know if you've noticed it. I, I don't think you have because I haven't been exploring for really yet, but the colors that attack you, they all look different depending on the area you're in. Like, they're generally rat fiends, but like, you saw the black guy there, and that, yeah, he's an alien. Which is kind of a cute little touch. Oh! This is a skill stuff, I think, as you said, and basically... It just keeps going... Basically, you can mess up your health if you don't time it just right, but... It's easy now, but the farther you get in the game, the trickier it gets, it can potentially mess your health up and leave you in a bad situation, so... I try to ignore those, unless my health is really dire. Not much we can do here right now, but this is going to be a very important area for a lot of reasons. But, okay, let's just jump up here. What's kind of wild too is that the other day I was kind of playing the original Magic because in my, my spare time, but it was the uh, 360 version and it's like... Not that much, never mind that the games are already kind of a little bit different from each other to begin with, but when you go from like the smooth Christmas... No, not Christmas. Crispness of the... Uh, 360, and then you go back down to the limitations of the 64. I mean, I love the 64, but you gotta admit, there's only so much uh, the console can do, or could do. But... Anyways, let's go and do some exploration around right now before. I need to destroy the yet. Let's go find out. 
I always found these little slot machine things annoying. You can only destroy them for the grenade eggs or the other methods, but we don't have those right now. But now we're in the Wild West portion of the uh, Witchy World. And this place isn't fun for a lot of reasons, but I didn't even know there was a guy up there. Well, first and foremost, let me see if I can make my way over here. I'm not going to go and do anything from the one but just yet, but I'm going to get the... I wouldn't have to have this wall pad activated so I can get the easier next time. Now I'm going to try to grab me a ginger. Hello, you then. Go away. Okay. How am I supposed to... I can't jump on top of those, so I just have to that now. Can I, oops. Can I jump up onto the gate? Okay, I can. This isn't gonna be that hard. Okay, just gonna climb my way over here. And here we go. We got Pickle Jinjo. The best of a bunch. I wonder if I'm gonna collect any full set of gingos in this world. I doubt it, but it'd be nice to be really fortunate, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can get a Jiggy over here now. And because this... Let's see... Yeah, I know. This is the Cactus of Strength, right? But yeah. Cactus of Strength, and you have to hit it three times in a specific fashion to get the prize. Use a normal down attack like that. Use the drill attack next. And the third one you may not get immediately, but you have to use a grenade egg to hit the third time. I did not know this at all, and this was one of the last tricks I got as a kid, because I had no clue how you're supposed to hit the third time, but once you know how to do that, then this is like really super easy to be to get. Anyway, I got 21 jiggies, and let's go inside and see what awaits us at the crazy castle. Not crazy copters anywhere though. That's Donkey Kong. This is Banjo, a completely different series. Anyways, oh, there's another dungeon over there. Let's go and greet him and. Nope! It's a Menjo! These evil Jinjo buggers that can really trip you up if you're not paying close attention. The only thing that really seems to kill these guys are grenade eggs. Let me get away. No, eggs in general. Alright, so let's. Alright. But yeah, from here on out, the menus are gonna show up and try to trip you up. And I thought they were robot Jinjos when I originally played the game, because they don't look any different from Jinjos, and then they make that sparkling noise, which again gave me the impression that they were robot doppelgangers of them, but apparently they're not, especially if that's in bolts is taken into consideration. They're just evil Jinjos. Whoops. Uh, I forgot to go. Uh, I forgot to learn a certain move. I can go and take care of that. That's no problem. But before I do, let's take care of this. Okay. Because yeah, I want to take care as much as much as I can on here. But you don't need to get there just yet. All right. As you can see, the castle itself is deflated. You can't do much with it right now, but that will change. We just have to do some navigating left and right here. Well, there you go. Let's... Yeah, the move you have to learn is at the big top over there. I have to go and get it, but I'll go and do it now. Alright. Let's see. Inside. You climb up the ropes, but it's very tricky to do. This is for me on the 64 controller. It might be better if I was playing the 360, but this isn't the 360, we got a match. Oops, I almost had it. Okay then. Let's just can we make it? And no we can't. Chicago all over again. I'm not dying this time, but I'm getting nowhere. Alright then. Alright. 
No! Let's see. Oh, I am. Um, I can burn. I know how to get the up there for the main. Let's take care of this first and foremost. Separate skills are what you lack. So let's get Kazooie out of your pack. Finding your pack is what you do. Pressing A makes one become two. Go. But yeah, now we can split that to Kazuya, but they really can't do much individually right now, but that's kind of where we go on other moves elsewhere in the park. And I am just so determined to climb up the cursed tent. I don't know how I managed when I was a kid, because. That is doable. I believe it's a Jinjo on top of the tent. An actual Jinjo, not the Robo Minjos. Okay. I don't, yeah, I'm gonna really have three hours of me trying to come up with that. That's not. Okay. I'm gonna go explore around, see if I can get out of things. I do, part of the reason I like which one is because all the areas are kind of varied, like, the world itself is varied because you have a space section, a wild west section, an inferno section, like, there's, there's a lot of variety in doing a few pocket level, it seems. Alright, let's take care of this. Shooting eggs that burns bird and bear, so why not fire them in the air? Epsi gives you the aiming sight, then plus Z to shoot from height. Bloody all. Yep. Goodbye. And we need that to, like, we need a lot of moves just to get to the, just to even deal with the boss at this stage, actually. And... Is there anything up here that has to be, that does it, is that, that has to be a ginger. Yep. Oh! Well, can we, I did find the whole of a ginger family here. Wow. But, anyways, there is kind of two tales to ninjas. Like, one is that you can hit him with eggs. Like, if you're in a position where you see what looks like a ginger in plain sight, shoot with an egg first. If it goes through them, they're real. If it doesn't, then they're not. And that's weird, but it's kind of backwards, but that's how it works. Alternatively, if you rescue all of a family, like, I have all the yellow gingers now, so... Any future yellow gingers are not going to be actual gingers, ninjas. Uh, okay. To make a lot of progression in the park, we're going to need Mumba Jumbo's help, and I think this is probably the most yes to do so far in the game, but I want to do some checking out with Banjo Gazoo first, and I'm a. It's so tempting, I must climb up the ropes. Can, I don't think I can do it with Banjo. Can I do it? Why oh, can I? Or well, can I? Okay, there's no risk falling off, but I am gonna like try to get really slow. I think I need Kazoo to actually navigate the tent itself. Oops, I got careless. Alright. Oh, I am so sorry. I should be doing more, but again, I'm tempted by the ropes. I'm tempted by the tent. I want to get to the top. I want to declare myself King Kong. Destroy biplanes. Alright. Let's see if we can clean the way up there. Alright, finally! Yep! Another Peppa Jim film. And nothing else! Okay. Alright, now let's go check out the Inferno area. And this is probably my least favorite portion of the whole world. Logic because there's so much to do here. You can't even do it all in one go with memory serves, right? But let's take, try to take care of another Jiggy here, first and foremost. Oh, 
Oh, if only they announced a new Banjo Kazooie game or something. Not only would people be happy, but I would actually have an audience. I had an audience of Perfect Dark, but I don't seem to have much of an audience here. It's alright, though. Oh! That, there we go. And let's get the Jiggy. And why not? Why not? Let's take the plunge. Geronimo! Okay. Let's grab the notes in here, too. It's like all of that there, but it's like... I knew that my pet production was going to get an audience because of the new game, but... Nothing new banjo way has happened, so was I upset? As you can see, there's three entry ways to uh, this place, but we can't access one from just yet. So let's go check out the other two right now. Oh, this is intimidating. A haunted cavern. Darkly lit, but you can use fire eggs to light your way. And I do remember the spikes at the edge do hurt you, so careful not to try and enter those. This actually reminds me of an area from the uh, original, well not the original, Donkey Kong 64. There's like a se section in the first level with uh, Chunky Kong, which is like darkly lit, that you have to, there was like a narrow path you could fall off of, which you had to navigate in the dark, but... There's no point to go over here unless you want more eggs, which I guess I do. Yeah, I wouldn't have to have some more flags and grenades. And yeah, not terribly hard. Kind of annoying to get through, but not to be, nothing too terribly bad. Not like the mines in Glitter Gulch, mine like the one section with the lack of power. Oops, probably should not have done that. Oh! There's these little gremlin things flying around and lighting stuff up. I never noticed these. Like I played, I've had this game for 20 years. I played it to death. But I never noticed that these things were the ones illuminating my path. Huh. Just how observant I am. Anyway, we're at the cave of Hollywood, we can see three horrific things. Let's in the blue section over here. It's Gobi. For those of you who haven't played the original Banjo Kazooie, he was in his own valley, Gobi's Valley. He's a cow that was chained up. You free him, and then you burst his hump to make him give water to a talking tree. You do it again to make him cough up an empty honeycomb. And of course, he doesn't like being having his back smashed in, so he goes to a last stage, click up wood, and then you burst his hump to water the plants there. He basically gave up, said screw it, and tried to go to the plot unquote lava world, which didn't exist in Benji Kazooie. But, unfortunately, he got captured and put here in Richie World, and he's been there for some time, evidently, if a bit of indication. But, and let's, let's help him. It's the least he can do for all the crap he gave him in the first game. Okay, I believe you can use... Yeah, that works. Oh, the, the, the fence glitched up there. Yeah. But yeah, the world, well, the world is in this game. And we'll see it much later on, and I'm not looking forward to that, but that's later. But again, it kind of reflects how you have to do a lot of work to make progress in this game. And there's like a little triceratops here. Isn't that weird? But this is a weird place again, anything can happen. <laughs> oh, Banjo, you, you just read everything you see in front of you and assume that's the truth. Yep, I'm gonna take care of, help this down kid out. I understand correctly. And there you go. Yep, and this is why we need to take care of the train earlier because we need to transport a lot of uh, people around. Okay, and the last here is a ginger. And is that really a ginger? Let's te check. Okay, he, he's good. It's a ginger. Alright! 
Oh, and this is one of Bucky's kids. In the original game, they all kind of looked pretty samey. It was nothing distinct about them, but this game actually tries to make them look distinct. And yeah, so do you like. Yeah, he's super easy to deal with. The other two can quite a bit more work. And one of you can take care of in this world yet, but we'll see. Alright. Let's get going. Back to the cabin. Wrong way. Are those spikes? Are those teeth? What are those? The fact that they seem to be paper thin doesn't help matters. But you have to, you have to touch. Look at the very spiky paper mache spikes. And it always looked like that too, at least on the 64. Again, you gotta make do with what you have here. And a lot of them still pretty good in my opinion. Also, I should be having a better color output so the stream should look much more smoother, but you're not going to be able to tell from a game like this. You're going to have to wait until the perfect dark stream next time to actually see the results, and hopefully it'll be a much cleaner and crisper presentation. Anyways, let's go check out the second cave in the inferno section. And this is the train station, which is good. Uh, oh, by the way, the kids, the Bucky kids' locations are actually semi randomized, so they'll never be the same place. Like, they're gonna pair in various locations of the park, and you gotta. People try to guess which ones they're gonna pop up at. Is there a way to break those open? Let's check. Could be wrong. No, they're just decorative. Okay. Let's get them moving. And... Okay. Before we can let Chucky the train come in, we're gonna have to activate a switch to let him in. And I actually... Yeah. I need to go and find it. Okay, and I believe it's up here. That's what these coffins are for. Alright. Let's get up here. And it's wild that Bender couldn't do this in the original game. Like, apparently, he couldn't cling to ledges. It's like... That seems like such a basic normal bit you could do normally, and... What a lazy bear Bender can be. Hey there, another TV viewer. Welcome to the stream. I hope you like me playing a 20 year old video game. It's good to have you here. Alright. Now we've opened the way for Chefy to get in. Now let's use this little sign here to summon it. Yep. An elk can cause to bring the train right to us. It's really helpful if you want to backtrack to a world without having to do a lot of... Well, if I go into the hub, buy all pads. There is no, uh, train stations for Mayahem Temple or the Last World, though. Only the woods in between. And it's kind of... I don't know about Mayahem Temple, but it's kind of justified with the Last World. Alright, then. And with this, the little triceratops should be able to get on board. Alrighty then. Yes, she goes? I think it's a she. I could be wrong. I have no way of telling, honestly, but... Alrighty. Oh, in case you're wondering about those uh, food signs, I'm gonna go and focus that right away, but... Go and talk to. I don't know which one's which. I think Ben Fitz tells me which one of the bo which block gives which, but it's hard to tell here. Yeah. Yep, he's gotten fat. Like, they were all pretty skinny bears in the first game, but now they are all wearing unique clothing for one, and they all again have different proportions. Alright, and let's actually go and get some food. Right. 
<laughs> Always being so sassy, Kazooie. Now, Banjo Kazooie themselves can't do anything with the food, but you're going to need to accomplish a lot of quests. Not just in Witcher World 2, you have to, there's another world later that you have to use the food for, but there's a lot of hurdles to that, so. How many characters are called Big Al in the uh, video games anyway? Because there's Big Al the hamburger rhino here. There's uh, Big Al and uh, Ratchet Clank. I don't know. Is there any other owls I can think of in video games? I think I'm wrong. Yeah, we're getting the uh, Corona Beggar right here. Yep. It was one big delicious corner burger. Is there any place that sells burgers or fries individually without, without one or the other? Maybe fries perhaps, but it's like it's kind of surreal that... Like, if you're selling some sort of food, you'd have several options, not just the one, right? Like, even if you sell one specific type of food, you have multiple options of that. But... I don't know, just... I haven't eaten enough restaurants to know, so... Anyway... Let's go give the fat over the kid some fries. Well, let's go and get a fortune lad. Maybe we'll get some... get lucky this time. Alright, where is it? I don't like it. You may like it, but I don't like it. Alright, let's try this again. Extra eggs, cool. I actually called dying here once, believe it or not. It's, as soon as it's, as soon as it sounds like I forgot nothing but back-to-back -back beatings, I actually died here. Alright. I want what I came here for. Give me the special, uh, secret. Okay, cool, but not what I wanted. Come on, give me the code. I guess he won't. Oh well. Let's go back and feed the fat bear more food. Talk of bizarreries. It seems so nice and innocent in the first game too. They just want... Like, I gave him presents for Christmas that year and... I don't know! Let's see. Oh yeah. I know about that you're not allowed to bring food into parks, but to not have food outside the park, that's kind of backwards, but there is a reason for that, because again, there's someone outside of this world that wants the food from here, but you can't give it to them just yet. You have to find a means of avoiding that. So, let's go ahead and give him his burger. Yeah. Yeah. He's too big to carry right now though, so that's gonna have to wait. And by wait I mean it's gonna take a long time for that to happen. 
Alright, let's go get another burger just to be on the safe side. And then... I think we've done... A lot that less of what we couldn't do without outside help, but... Let's go ahead and, uh... Again, can I just pass? No, that's not a job. I need to go visit Big Al. Alright. Let's go over here. Let's go check out... Yeah, let's go check out here. Alright, more burgers. More kind of right burgers. Well, not. Whatever. Okay. Off we go. Let's go back to the crazy castle. Okay, actually, why is there a castle and a restroom world? Wouldn't the medieval theme world be more of a super place, or is this, uh, what? Now I can't think of Westworld, like, there's a medieval, like, not the new show, but the original movie that was based off of. There's a theme park of androids that go haywire and start killing people. There's also a medieval world in that movie. And I don't know. Like, kind of funny, but I think I need Benjo by Zonson. But, uh, okay. Oops. Let's get going. Oh, nice Jubilee Castle. Alright. Okay, come on. Can I do this? I'm such an idiot. I press A. But yeah, the health diminishes a little bit when they split up, and... Quite frankly... Come on. They're useless right now, individually, unfortunately, because they can't really do much separately, for some reason. You have to go one moves to make them work separately. Which we're gonna do. That's, that's the annoying part, though. I think this is Banda's attack, but you can't get it without... Uh-oh. Without... Going into Minjo. Banda's now got an empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Just press B and round its rings. Bumps and bruises to bad as it brings. Only he also if you don't have full health, too, which is what his brother balls was in the first game, but. Oh! He bumped his little noggin. That only happens once per playthrough, by the way, but I guess it happened earlier than I thought it would. Nice little exploit with uh, Banjo's little pack whack here is that he can do a, du a technical jumper jump. Like, he can do this, and then he can do this. And he can get up to areas he shouldn't be getting up without Kazooie. Which leads to some fun things. Okay, let's take care of that. And if I recall quickly, they did, they did not take this ability out, this little exploit out of the 360 version, which is nice. And I think it adds a little bit of fun to it, too. But Kazooie can't do anything in this right now, and I don't think she will be able to until the next world, which we may or may not visit later this stream, but that depends on how much time we have. Well, let's go ahead and activate the Pump Master 2 here, and we'll see what we get. Alrighty then. Yep, that blows up the crazy castle. Again, this seems more of a medieval thing than a western thing, but whatever. I guess they got confused about how to go about this. We're not going to be doing that just yet, though, because there's many games inside the crazy castle. And let's go and check them out. One, you need both of Banjo Kazooie together, the other, you only need Kazooie. But this is the most useful she is right now in this world, so... Oh! The speech shoes! But yeah... No, I know how to do this. You basically have to jump through all the hoops within a minute to get the high score of Freddy. Red ones are worth one point, green ones are worth two points, and blue ones are worth three points. The key difference being is that the... Depending on what color, the smaller it might be smaller to get through. Alright. Let's 
do this. I kind of want to prioritize the green and blue groups, in my opinion, to get things to beat this, but you can also go through the red groups if you're in your path, but again, kind of like break it towards the green hoops, first and foremost. But anyways, right, we're doing pretty good so far, I think. Could be doing better, but we're not doing terrible, like, abysmally. Let's see if we can go for 60. Oh, okay, let's see. Whoops. And we did, I believe. Okay. Whoops, there you go. And we got another jiggy out of it. And come on. I think there's more. Or not. At least I think you need to have to play twice, do you? Alright, let's try to beat my score at the very least. Maybe it's a bit of a waste of time, but whatever. Alright, let's go for it. Oops! Oops! Hoopy do that day! Hooping mad! There's a whole Captain Ann episode with just nothing but hoops! Hoop this, hoop that, hoop, hoop, hoop! There's a TV show called Hoops! It's apparently the favorite show of Jimmy from Ape Escape 2. If that one uh, crappy Nick cartoon is an indication. Alright. I am doing badly at this, like, much worse than I was last time. Come on. There's no penalty for losing, but it would be nice. Was it this one that had the extra prize or no? Could be wrong. Okay, I don't think there's any point in playing this anymore. I think it's the other mini game that has the extra reward, but we'll see. Alright. There's a little audio glitch there, it seems. I'm sorry about that. It seems like it happens sometimes when you trigger mini game music. I don't, it could just be my old copy, but what are you gonna do? Alright. Let's go and join it back up to Banjo now. Right. Oh yeah, that was an enemy in here. I forgot about that. Oh. Alright. Let's go ahead and get moving. Let's go ahead and try the other mini game in here. But when I class both of the two duo to do. And the movie got earlier was actually the ability to shoot eggs while flying. Which is kind of a cool idea. But we have to take out... Nope, I know what to do here. So, yeah, you gotta fly around and shoot the... the rooms. And you have indefinite eggs for this challenge, so... This isn't as bad as it looks, but... As you draw out reds, balloons are one point, green balloons are two points, uh, blue balloons are three points. Let's get going. Oh! That was interesting. I didn't know they deflated. Well, they made deflating noises. Alright. Let's get going. I'm shooting them off screen now. That's lovely. I'm not shooting them at all now. That's not lovely. Gotta make at least 50 points. Whoops. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can go for 60. Alright. And there we go. That should be the uh, other jiggy. Yep. We have two jiggies now. Nope. I could have sworn if you did the minigames tw twice, 
Like if you got a higher score, you could also get cheetah pages, but I guess I was wrong or I wasn't doing good enough. But I'm not going for all the cheetah pages, I'm going for all the jiggies, but not the cheeto pages. Let's go ahead and collect them over here though. Okay. That was such a pad. Let's go and use it. And hopefully not that ninja will interfere. Right. Right, let's go and get. I do like the wobble effects on the castle though. It's a really nice attention to detail, which. I don't know. I don't see a lot of 64 games do that. So again, it's kind of cool that there's physics like that in Badger 2. Well, maybe for the castle, I don't know about anything else. Alright then. Now I believe we should go consult. Well, you know, there's something we can do in the space area. Let's go and do that now. Right. Of course it's not going to be easy. We have to tiptoe our way over there, or... This isn't as bad as a tightrope, and... uh-oh. Yeah, I fell off. I can't do what I was going to do. I guess take care of that. You kind of need to if you want to get to a certain area. Oh boy. Let's see. Okay. Alright. Because we need to hit the switch on top of that uh, platform over there if we want to use it to carry us across the. Uh, well, it's. Oh, well, we could just do this. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the ledge grab and that, how useful that is and how useful it would have been if he had this move in the first game. Oh, silly me. Come on. Can you grab the rope from here? Guess not. Oh no. Yeah, so far this stream has been nothing but me failing to climb ropes. That's incredible. Oh boy. Alright, let's jump up here. Let's take care of this goon. And let's try this again. Alright, zoom out. Zoom out. Alright. And, alright, yeah, let's just cling on like that. Climb upwards. And jump. And hit the switch. Or not. Okay, there we go. I got a platform to take us to the space world. Yep. The cable car ride. And there we go. I'm not really seeing it, because I can see pretty much the whole park anyways, but... But you can't jump off while you're doing this, so you can't exploit this to, to the big top for the gym job. But... You can use this to access another part of the space and another can't get to though, so there's that. Oh look, you never had a come piece. Let's grab it. Let's go ahead and take care of this. I want to add it. This is going to be super important to take care of. Right. Down we go. I mean, if I could have had to get up there easier ne next time, and... Now well, let's take care of this! So, if you remember, if you saw my last stream, you notice I had to rescue this weird flying boss in Gold Goldrime. Well, its puppet was blocked. So, but we've opened the pathway up here, and so now the crate can make its delivery, and I'll pop the UFO! Unfortunately, we can't do much more for you over right now. We have to do a lot more work for a bunch of characters. So, now I think it's going to be a good time to activate the uh, new transformation at this stage. So let's go to... Oh, let's look now. 
Let's go. Okay. I don't have a globo though, so I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Let's go and see. If the globo's in the break room, let's go ahead and grab it. And let's go talk to the stereotype and get out your powers. This is before we go, and there we go. There's our transformation for this stage. And it's a van, a money van specifically. Yep. It's practically a mortal and can't pretty much steam more through anything. But that's not the point of this. The point of this is that you need this vehicle to open up access to new areas. Either by hucking the horn to open gates or by uh, paying off money to open areas. One of the more pointless transformations in Banditary, in my opinion, it's more the means of opening gates up, but yeah, what can you do? Let's go ahead and take care of the big thing over here, first and foremost. Yeah, but there you go. Yep. Got to go into the fearsome furnace, we have to shell out. The light is open, and we have to open it up if we want to go visit Mumbo. So, how's that take care? And oh yes, uh, you can't get crushed by that. It doesn't kill you, but it does hurt. At least when you're normal bent into Zuri. Anyways, let's go and open up all the other pathways with uh, the sky. Thing, I should say. Yeah, I can get a little treble notes. Which I think that we got all notes now, I could be wrong. Let's see. Oh, we do! That was quick. We almost have all the gingers, too. Okay. I could be wrong, but I could have been something in here. But yeah, there is, but I can't open it just yet. There's gonna be a lot of back and forward with. This thing, but again, that's the big thing about Magic Chili. Oh, back and forth. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of the uh, thing over here. Alright, yeah, let's never ginger. I'll never pepper ginger, it seems. A lot of people change this here, and that's the last one of this world, believe it or not. I think I'm making much more leeway here than I was in Blood Gulch Mine. Or it feels that way. Alright. Goodbye. Okay. Now let's go. There's one more area in the Inferno I think I should go check out, but otherwise I think I'm good otherwise. But, there's one, but yeah, I think there's something you need to go check out in the Inferno area with the Vam. At least give a little tease of what it's like, so... Can I make it? Oh, we can. We can float it air, but we can't go through like that. Alright, then. So now we're in the Inferno, and what's so cool, we can just walk through the la lava and a problem like this, but... Uh, We got five pages and technically go and get the Cheetos cheat code now, but we'll do that later. For now, I just want to do some exploration, maybe activate some stuff, getting through things a little easier. Oh, yes! This puzzle right here, which we're not gonna do just yet, we're gonna have to come back here later. Because that would be a bit of work. Yep. Is. I don't know, is it? Oh, there it is. That's not important right now. Okay. What is important is that we... For the most part, we pretty much just do everything we can with the van, except for one thing, which we can't do yet. So, let's go turn back into, uh, Banjo Mazzini. Proper. Alright. 
Off we go. It's hard to believe only an hour's pass. It feels like a couple of points before I try and trying this, but no, it's only about an hour. I'm sure this fly would have, yeah, like, enjoying itself, I suppose. Bites. So back into the Athena we go. Let's try to get the Jiggy there first and foremost, and. Well, the. I haven't seen one of the kids yet. Like, I've clipped. They must. Oh, I think I know where they are, but. Because sometimes they can. Well, they can be here, but it seems like that's not the case yet, though, so. That sucks. Okay. That wasn't pleasant. You're not Van. Van's apparently a bean somehow. I don't know how that makes sense, but. That's not. I don't know what logic this is going for. Oops, this is not who I need to be. Let's go and get Banjo out. Alright then. Let's do this. And pay no mind to the imp over there. We'll deal with that later. Now, you don't need the split pads to uh, separate Banjo and Vizier. Sometimes the special places like that, they can just. Uh, go put them on and make them switch the other guy. Oh, I hate this part. Those imps can really. Yep. Those imps can buy it. Like, you have to see the space shoes since the pants aren't going anywhere, but you would have to get this fast on the wind shoe. Right. You can do this. Or not. And. Let's see. Yeah, there I go. Zooey. Let's try this again. First, I gotta go get Banjo back to the silly sh jump pad switch. Cursed imps. But they don't stop coming. It's like the Chicago Infiltration Mission all over again. Just endless waves of annoying nuisances. I forgot the speed shoes, but I don't need them. Just makes it go by a little faster, but maybe I can time myself better for the jumps of these imps. Alright. Well, they're having fun. I am having fun too, but not because of these guys. These guys are making things less fun. Oops. Right. Jump. Jump, 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 jump. Yep, let's shake. Let's turn it shaky. And I've kind of exhausted most of what Banjo because we can do on our own right now. Or even together for that matter. But let's go and take care of the next big thing, which would be uh, having to use Mumbo on this level. So let's keep going. I want some upwards into the very creepy looking skull. There's a park attendant in here. Well, I guess it is Grunty's park, so. And I guess she allowed my to set the score ahead and have the one go with them? I don't know. Yep, we got your blue bow. You can have it, you can do stuff with us. Again! Mumbo's abilities basically onto the activating switches, but he gets a bit more do here compared to what he had to do in the first two worlds. Because I think we're going to show you showcase his powers uh, soon, actually. If, excuse me. Let's see. What can we want ourselves? <laughs> Let's go to space zone. That seems like what he's needed the most right now. Okay, let's go over here first and foremost. You uh, stay away. And here we go. Here comes Mumbo's next spell. This time it's the spell of, spell of power. And basically, this activates the machinery around which you roll. And you basically need to access a lot of areas. Including areas where Banjo or the Banjo so... On the other hand, pipes with exposed wires become much 
become hazardous now, so you have to avoid that now. But now I can enter this Stodrum Dome, which... There's a lot we're gonna have to do in there, but... Okay. That's stop number one of them out. Now let's go into here for stop number two. The Star Spare, which is inactive right now. There's not much going on in here currently. Except for these uh, attendants. Here, let's. Okay, just as I thought, I already had all the gingers here. Alright. Let's do the Zord Dance again. And we'll activate the Star Spinner. Which we'll need to access uh, the jiggy at the top of this area. Alright. Do your thing, Mumbo. Thanks, care of that. Alright. Welcome. I think it's kind of cute how the letters are ascribed onto the pads. Nope, not you. Is there anything in these craters of interest? Oh, there's one of the kids, but yeah, I guess she's in here, but can't talk to her just yet. And we're not done with. Mumbo's work. There's still plenty of other places that need his assistance. At least one more place. I think it's all related to the space board, oddly enough. I don't think there's any power issues elsewhere. Could be wrong, but... Let's go near the entrance. And let's go ahead and take care of that. Okay. Look, got a little bit slow down. Early on, Nintendo's Ultra 64. Alright. Let's go ahead and take care of the thing here. Oh. There you go. Go down, please. Thank you. And this... Yeah, this is me for the Sauce of Pearl to actually do that challenge. Like I did just yet, though. It's gonna to have to wait for a bit. But for now, this will work. And I think the first that kind of if I remember Kimbo's section of the park. And yeah, you can yeah, you can use this also pale now. Which is considered by many people of the hardest parts of Banjo Terry. Which maybe it is, maybe it isn't, we'll see. Sometimes I can get a smart first girl, sometimes it takes forever. We'll just see how lucky I get, but you gotta bring up the van one more time though, I'm afraid, because in order to actually access the one minigame we opened up in the space world, the one, the Dodgem Dome, we actually need to pay with money to open it. Oh, seems a very... Seems like a bit much work, but again, that's how Badger 2 operates. Alright, then. Wait, yeah, but I went, whoops. Numbers bump got burnt there. And... Yep. Right. Oh. There you go. Back to Bam Bed we go. Hey. Okay. So we gotta go back to being a vet van again now too, if we wanna actually open up the Dodge Dome. But then that should be it for the van and Mumbo and then we should be able to progress the rest of the world world with uh Banjo Bazooie normally. I gotta say though, I think this is less cramped and more fun to explore than the little ghost mine was. At the very least, it seems like it's a bit more clear what you're supposed to do here, where I felt, felt like I got lost in uh, the little ghost mine. But what you're gonna get, that's probably fun. Yeah, let's get the van out of the way. And let's take care of the fees, and then that should be that. Alright. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but, uh, 
both uh, Glitter Goldschmine and uh, Witchy Blood were fine levels for the original Banjo Kazooie, but were cut. And according to the design docs that were released, there wasn't much change to Glitter Goldschmine's layout. It was made a little bit more complex to match Chewie's thing, but a lot of the geometry of Glitter Goldschmine was actually very similar when it was planned for Kazooie. They just made it bigger when they put it in Chewie, but. I think the same is also true of Vichy World. I think I don't think they even changed Vichy World that much. That might explain why it's much more easy to navigate compared to some of the other worlds in Chile. Yeah, the Dodge and Challenge is now open. Yep. And let me show you something here while I add it, I guess. Is this the right spot? This... I don't know if I have... To, where is it? I could be wasting it once time, I could be... Oh, there it is! See that? It's Mr. Pats! And he says, stay frosty, everybody! Oh, does anybody know who Mr. Pats is? Uh, like, does anybody that's not a Die Hard Rare fan know the character? Because in this case, I don't want to tell you. I want you to know, figure out for yourself the magnificence of Mr. Pants. Uh, man in nothing but red underwear, in a bowler hat, mustache. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you where he comes from, his significance, or anything. And that's up for you to decide, viewers. But anyways, time to call quits with the man, and actually, that that time for Magic Mazzilli again for a change. Like, you can actually start doing some clinic here. Alright. And there we go. And that was apparently upside down. If anything, wouldn't he be face facing the ground? But no, he's up belly up when he comes out of a transformation for some reason. That's weird. Okay. Let's go ahead and take care of the stuff at Space Zone now. A lot to take care of. Let's go into the... Where is it? Uh, yeah, let's go into the Star Spinner first and take care of the stuff in there. Let's go find the... Foggy Girl here. I forgot the... They have names, but I forgot what they are. Soggy, Moggy, and Groggy, I think, were the names, but I forgot who's name too. Also, it wasn't clear what changes they had in neutral, but they're kind of neutral-ish, but I guess here, yeah, this one's clearly a girl. Yep, got some flies for her. Because she's going to be got to be a mischievous troublemaker with a tall skinny guy and a short muscly guy and con people to find fragments of a skull stone and fight preteen superheroes and a robot dog. Because only villains like that love french fries. Whoops, why did I go out? There's still all jiggy I have to get in here. I guess I got carried away. Alright. I remember like a Let's Play made like ages ago where a guy got to this party, tried to get the jiggy with Mumbo, and spectacularly failed. I don't know if it is possible to get the jiggy with Mumbo now, but I'm not gonna challenge that. I wanna actually get somewhere. Unlike my perfect dog went through. Alright. Oh, there we go, there we go. Yep. Pretty, pretty good job from the chicken spot. Now, how do I get back down without breaking my bones? Let's try this. Let's try this. Fall and back to the skin. And we did it! I'm actually amazed. I thought I was gonna crash and burn now, but evidently not. Alrighty then, here we go. Let's see. 
Let's do a dodgeons challenge now. And here we go. Like the kickball challenge from Maryham Temple, or Maryham Temple, I should say. This feed version is an easy and medium and hard mode. You have to get off these while it gets jiggy. The first one you just have to do is one guy. And what you have to do is you have to collect more Tranquilies than you have a helmet. Tranquilies being the sentient light bulb thingies from the first game, they're in the easy peak actually. Red as usual, red is one, green is two, blue is three. And this guy will get in your way. Try to freaking drop as nice as you can. And there we go, now we have people doing us when we collect stuff. That's how it usually goes into the game. Right? Because the audience is usually the antagonist. And you don't like it when you go to him because of it. I gotta do it again, but harder. Uh, right. And the second time you do this, there's gonna be two guys going after you, which makes it a, a bit harder. But still manageable. Where are you then? Yeah, they're not as dumb as they look, though, so cautious. Okay, I got the 50. And it was this time too, which doesn't help. But we can do this. This isn't too hard. Just try not to hide the calls too much, and you should be fine. They shouldn't stop you. And there we go. Alright. So, 15 within 45 seconds, and Bari halfway there. That's a helpful sign. Especially if you keep grabbing all those green ones. Got around there, but I should be fine. And I did it! Let's just collect as many as I can though. Let's see if I can high score I can achieve. Can I get 70? Let's see if I can get 70. Okay. Uh, probably not. Maybe s oh I actually did! Oh cool. Not that it matters, but it's nice to kind of achieve goals like that, I suppose. Okay, let's do a full bus. Dodge and challenge. Should be easy as pie. Should be well, it's harder, but I don't think this particular challenge is all that tough. But yeah, you got three of them now, and again, that's gonna make things a little more difficult, but it's still. That's, I don't think it's anything to worry about. No money then. Let's keep going. 40 points and 45 seconds. Okay, that's actually a lot more than I thought it would be, but again, I have to feed these guys, and they can pick up the chunkers too, it seems, so... But again, just circle around, collect them as you go along, and... Oh, man, they're getting really aggressive. Oh, well. Alright, let's stay. Yeah, let's not get greedy, let's just focus and collect that as many as we can on our one pass through. Okay. Oh, now? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, no. You little cheeky devils. Okay, gotta just grab at least two more. That's doable. Oh. I'm having a bunch of them now. We got 60. Nice. Yep. Some jiggy, miss. Oh, bunny hag. Yeah, miss bunny hag. And there we go! Got Jiggy on the... Oh, the Dodrum... Dodrum Dodrum! I feel like we're making a lot of progress here. I'm really proud of that. Again, it's like a fog cry from how I was doing a perfect dock the other day. Oh, I see Jiggy's left! 
I think I know where they are. I know where one of them is for sure, but the other two... Okay, you get one from risking all the barking kids. Oh, I know where you get them all. Let's go ahead and get the... So there's one more we, got, we should grab space on, actually. Is there any easy way to climb up that app without having to use the... Well, no, there isn't. I'm gonna have to use the cable card for the day. Oh. oh well. It is what it is. Let's go ahead and try, at the very least. Unfortunately, the next few segments are going to be shooting segments, which is going to be a nightmare, but especially considering my performance in perfect dark, but we'll see. No stealth this time, though. But I'm using a much more clunkier control to do all of it. So, that can complicate things. Alright. Onwards to... This is kind of nice, though, after the first time I just cut straight to an exterior like that, which, again, is kind of a pleasant thing to do, all things considered. Alright. There you go. Time to jump up there. Um, we need, let's get ready to write this off panel. Yep. Again, depending on who you ask, it's either the best or worst part of the world, though. Let's see how well I do this time around. Am I gonna do well? Am I gonna do bad? We'll see. Yeah, we gotta shoot all targets. And usually. Yep, same rules as usual. We gotta score 500 points if you wanna win the jiggy. So here we go! Let's go shooting. Oh, the controls are inverted, that's the snap. That does not help. I'm gonna show you inverted, but. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. Uh, this is the one time why I'm grateful to slow down. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Oh no. I have do not have a good feeling about this. I wasn't oh boy. Oh that's not good. That's not good. I don't have any goofy chocolate can music play this time either, so that doesn't help. Right, let's try, let's try, let's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not good. I keep missing too many targets. Yep, I missed way too many targets there. That's not a good sign. Let's give it a while, though. Again, I think this is... Where they have a sudden actually helps a bit because I can actually shoot the stuff before it disappears. Okay. Right. Oh god, here comes the hard target bit. The hard targets the hit. Alright. Alright, can we do this? Can we do this? Can we do this? Over 289 points! Uh, dang it! Dang it, dang it, dang it! Whoa! Over 300 points! We need less than 200 more now! Can I make it? Can I make it? Let's see! Oh, that's... Okay, I got over 400 points, so I'll get second place at the very least. Second place, but I want to go for first place. Okay, let's see if we can do it. Okay, 
entire campaign was. Oh no. Oh, I actually made it! Oh wow! I... Oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't expecting to get rid of one go, but wow. I get both prizes now. I get a Cheetah page, that was the second place prize. And of course, I get a Jiggy. And incredible! Yep. No, I'm not doing that again. That was nerve-wracking, especially after my FPS experiences Wednesday. Alright. We can't really finish the quest for Baki's kids right now, so let's do... I saved the best for last, basically, but uh... There we go! Let's actually into the big top now! Lots of fun to be had in there! Definitely lots of fun to be had in there, like... Seriously. Alright. Okay, so here's the main event. The highlight of this world, so to speak. And there's Conga. And he doesn't act like he knows us, or vice versa. He's now being lead of the circus. Alright. There you go. If Conga does recognize us, he probably wouldn't be happy to see us. And if anything, I'm wondering if he's seeing us up with this. I mean, like, we stole his oranges, we shot him with eggs, we, hit, we found his hidden jiggy. I don't think he'd be happy to see us, and why would he happily get first in here unless there was some catch? Here we have boss number three. And I think this is my favorite part in the whole game right here. This big and flavor dinosaur, Mr. Patch. That line would make a, about Klongo there would make more sense if he used the potion and made bigger during the first fight, which he didn't. But of course, being Kazooie, that could just go being snarky and... That is a very unfortunate place to put a plug, honestly. Good thing this is the Sultan thing, Dinosaur. Uh, okay, I probably should... Whoops. I probably should not have said that, at least probably should not have said that. And then this boss rendition of Mr. Catch's theme is... Rocket. Like, so good I got put in the Smash Brothers. This is why you need the grenade eggs and the flying ability, because only grenade eggs can destroy his patches, and you have to fly in the air to hit him now, otherwise I can hit by those boxing glove molehills. Yeah, 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 let's go up into the air and let's take him out. I always found the patch on his tail to be the hardest to get, personally. So I can get there we go, that's better. But yeah, not much shoes fight, but again, it's got some really nice music and I like the look of this boss for the most part and... I don't know, it just took out as very memorable. Oh yeah, he'll start uh, coughing up beach balls to hit you with, but if you're really good about it, then you can avoid those. Again, it's not, this is not a hard boss fight at all, you just have to kind of get used to the controls. Like, it's talking about how the flying controls are invented, but alright. Let's go up again. Let's try him from the front. Of your hand. Whoops. I have a man with the knee there, but it's okay, it's, it's cool. Oh! Lucky, I was being aimed for that one. Oh! 
Wow. Wow. I'm really getting lucky with him. Again, this is an odd boss fight, but I can be a bit annoying to hit the head to catch. And I keep doing it! Whoops. Probably didn't want to get on the ground again, but. Oh well. We're gonna have to stuck up on the wall. Surprise, too, so. Alright. Okay. I think the last patch is behind them. I think it is. Let's get behind them. And. Yep. Alright, there we go! That was brief, but I think we had line control aside, that was pretty fun. I hope the fact that this music was in Smash doesn't affect anything. I don't think it should, but you never know. And there we go. That's the last trick you can get for right now. But... Yep. That's it for the world for right now, and... Let's have the stream right there, so we should have enough time to explore the next world. Which should be fun. Not as fun as Witchy World, but well, it kind of depends. I may go and do some backtracking first and foremost, though, just to uh, make things a little easier on myself, though. Alright. Time to say au revoir to Witchy World. Fun place, but we'll be back here soon to take care of Boggy's last kid and get some food here later. Yeah, we can't take out the food. We need to at some point, but not at this instant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it, Glinty. You're mean. You're a witch. And there's a B word that rhymes with witch. I'm not trying to be kid friendly for the sake of being kid friendly. I'm just not one. I just don't like being profane to uh, uncertain audience. What I mean by that is I don't like swearing in front of people. Strangers or people I don't know, which I guess it comes easy for some people. Like if I get excited or something, maybe. But otherwise, I'm gonna keep my mouth pretty clean for the most part. That doesn't necessarily mean my I'm gonna stream stuff that's for kids or that my stream is for kids. It's just that I'm not gonna be a sailor now. Anyways, let's go back and do some stuff at Spout Mountain now. There's some areas we could explore now that we can't. But, let's get some mileage out of it too, so... Alright, back to this gloomy and doomy place, but... What can you do? Alright, let's just... Let's go find the flight pad and let's see if we can make our way to check out to some of the special areas. It is kind of nice to compare like Spider Mountain from the first game to Spider Mountain here because it is generally the same geometry, but there's a lot of differences here now because it's wrecked, but also it, I don't know, there's something kind of that feels so nice about it all. Okay. Nice! Like, let's see if I can go find, like, there's a cage section over here we couldn't get to before. But now that we have, uh, yep, yeah, now that we have the grenade eggs, we can get to it. And there's a and 64 cartridge in there, let's go and check it out. Okay. It's a bunch of Kazooie game pack, it seems. And we kill it, and look! It's Banjo Kazooie's Mysterious Pink Egg Secret Egg. Okay, for those of you who aren't aware, we had this thing planned for the games called Stop and Swap. Well, what happens is that it would give you codes to find the eggs in Banjo Kazooie, and Basically, you would have to swap the game cartridges quickly to transfer the eggs and such into Ranger 2 However, later in Nintendo 64 models uh, could not reserve their backup power for too long, so they had to scrap that and uh, to 
to compensate, they did that weird thing where, no, you pick the game, that's because the game packs in 2e, and that's what gives you the eggs. There's not even all the eggs either, it's only the ones they showcased at the end of Thunder Gazoo if you 100% of them. They even made Stop and Stop proper on the 360 versions, and they even added Magic Gazoo and Supports to it, but again, I don't have that version, so they're not going to be seeing that. Okay, hold on. Yep, there's a ledge over here. And there's a secret pathway behind this waterfall. And behind it is... Yet another game pack. And there's the blue egg. And then there's one blue egg you can get back at the gentle village. But before we do that, let's go and check out some stuff nearby, uh... Oh! Banjo's home, still... But, anyways, let's move down over there. Or fly over there, actually. That would be convenient. Alright. And let's do this. Again, got like a little... Oh! Perfect landing, too! Alright. That's Banjo's Goldfish Ryston. He's trying to me for Boulder, which we need this move to break him out of. And we saved him. Well, not yet, but we will. There we go. Well, he's supposed to be bad as pet goldfish, but he doesn't have a fish bowl from him now, but... We'll just go and carry his him to the water over here. And... Yep, there we go! He's now a free goldfish. He doesn't give us a jiggy, but he gives us extra bubbles to stay in the water longer. And also, he teaches us a new swimming ability. Normally, if you press B by itself, you go, you do a fast swim, and if you press A, you do a slow swim, but you can press both together to do a super fast swim. And while I don't need necessarily the oxygen for the next world, I do want the improved swimming controls. Because... The next world we're going to spend a lot of time in the water in. But before we do that, let's go ahead and grab the next uh, egg, which I believe is over here. Okay. We'll jump here, kill whatever that thing is. I don't know what they're called. They're creepy. I don't like them. But uh, there we go. Let's go in here. And let's go the next thing. There's the cops. There's the cops. And we got the ice key! Oh yeah, there was also an ice key and uh... Bounty Kazooie as well. Also, apparently according to recent document specs, Stop and Stop is also going to entail not just Bounty Kazooie and Chewie, but also uh... Jet Force Gemini, Blast Core, GoldenEye, Donkey Kong 64, pretty much all the rare games that were on 64 were considered to have some Stop and Swap capabilities, but that was dropped early on, certainly being with uh, Banjo Kazooie and Major 2. Although aspects of the DK64 connectivity are still there to some extent. But not anymore. I'm gonna have enough chickies to open up another area when I go visit, so why not? Let's find more ways to cut time. Alright, yep, the gate's open, so we can go and talk to him. Alright then. There's the jigsaw headed deity. The opener of doors. Jiggy Wiggy. And here we go, here comes puzzle number six. I really don't like this. Not the puzzle itself, but I don't like what this world is. But that's gonna be a long ways away. Let's just get out of the way now. Oh. 
again, it's all much easier than the puzzles and uh, the first magic is where you actually have to rotate the puzzle pieces to make them fit. Here I just have to pick them up and just shove them in the right place. Which I can do like this. Come on, pick it up. Oops. Okay. Generally like that. That. Like so. Spots. There you go. And then, last piece here. And then, there you go. We completed the sixth tricky wicked challenge. And now, there you go with another door opening. Switch your. No, the flesh color hand Jiggy has freaks me out because he's got the golden jiggy shaped head, but then it seems like the rest of his body is like flesh colored, like human colored. It's really off cutting. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this doesn't even technically open the lava. It just opens the gateway to the lava, but it doesn't actually open the lava properly. That's a very convoluted mess, which we'll deal with when we get to it. That's not gonna happen this screen. I'm still not looking for the bunny mysteries, but... If anything, at least it gives me a mind of the level I'm going to, and the stream's going to be much, much more fun. Not even. I know I don't. I don't care. How much do I need? We'll go and check... 36, that's going to be easy to accumulate. Not even. I'm not taking care of it. Let's go back to the plateau to take care of some things. Alright, let's grab that. Do I have enough to get an extra honeycomb? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and check that out right now. Let's get it going. It should be simple as one, two, three, but. Really? I think we might be one short, it could be wrong. Yep, we are one short, yeah. Sorry about that. Alright then, let's go ahead and go open up this area. We need to split pads for that. And we got it because we were much too well, so... Right. Yeah. Okay, split pads on here. Wow, I'm like, those are the switches, but I need the split pads. Okay, I'm gonna be able to I should be like right over here, I think. Yep. Good. Use them. Yeah, that. This kind of seems a little pointless, but whatever. You need to block some question now, I suppose. Okay. Kazumi. Kazumi will actually get more usage in the next world at the very least. Like, she'll get new moves there, which she can do on her own, which will be nice. Alright. Now, we are at the cliff top of uh, Isle of Hacks. There's a lot to do here before we even get to the next world. For example, yeah, never knew eight time. Freezing cold, but that's the price for launching eggs of solid ice. And yep, we got ice eggs. And there's an enemy down there, which makes me all nervous, but... And ice eggs are... They freeze enemies in place. They also they freeze a lot of things in place. They're kind of like the least useful of the egg types in my opinion, at least as far as attacking goes, but they're still okay. Anyways, we need to go over here if we want to activate the gateway for the train to get through. So, let's do that. And we don't necessarily need to use the train here yet, but we will later. This is just getting things up in advance. Where are you then? Anyways, let's get going. Right. Okay. 
Now oh, we should be able to go to the next one, I believe. Which is over here. Let's check if it helps. Yeah, there's another skull over here, but... We don't need to use number just yet. That's gonna have to... Wait, I believe. Because Mambo's abilities... And we don't even know what Mambo is yet, so it's probably for the best that we do put this off for a while. So... Right. Okay, I think it's just eggs. Eggs. There's a silo here. Oh, there's a place over there! Which... Can we get... open that place up? No, we can't! Let's do it! We can't go in there yet, but we wouldn't have to have this sudden advance for what to do. Alright then. Right. I think there's a treble now in some gene. Well, there's notes over there, and I think the global's over there too. Let's go ahead and get him now. Let's save us some um, headache later. Oh yeah, there's those shoes, but we can't use those yet. Not until the next one, I believe. I can't even be wrong about that, but let's see. Right. Let's get the globals up here. Let's go and get the little guy. Oh. Oh. So, what are globals exactly? They're magical creatures, but what the, Are those ears? Are those tufts of fur? What are those? Features, but... Anyways, time to head to World 4! Jolly Rogers Lagoon! And this is going to be a massive level competition when we just start, but let's take care of a few things first. And this place has some courtesy! It has the blooms! Which we're going to have to deal with here, but let's go ahead and get some more! And of course it's a standard notes and such, but that's small potatoes compared to what we have to do here. Oh look, a giant treasure chest statue for me. What's this? There's a crack in it. Let's blow it up. Destruction of public property. Hooray! Alright. Yeah, let's pick these things first and get some stuff out of them before we do any deep exploring of the tavern or the town itself. Let's see. There's a walk pad, which is nice. Okay, let's pick this over here. I also think there's a new move for the Kazooie up there if I recall correctly, so let's go ahead and get it right now. Alright. Yeah, Kazooie gets along some new moves here, which won't benefit her. Let's go ahead and get the first one right now, if that is what's up there. Also, in case you haven't noticed, what well, is stuff up here, but... In case you haven't noticed, because we can jump much higher without Banjo on the back. Which has its own perks. Total View Cave. I think this is where you get the move, I could be wrong. There's the balloons here, which is a plus. Yep, you know the move here. You've lost the safety that Banjo brings. Defend yourself now with your wings. Whirl them around by pressing at B. Please for attack, I think you'll agree. Very much so. Now I have to worry about... Oh, he did it twice! That's... That's never happened before. Like, he only usually does it once every time I play the game, but he did it again. He's much more clipsy than I thought he was. Alright, let's just... Again, I got the what I needed to with her, but I'm gonna go and collect some stuff anyways, just because I see coins floating in the video game, I must get them. Right, there we go. There we go. Now let's go drain it back up with our big lazy bear companion. Let's go ahead and get Member out of the way too. He doesn't really do much in this stage, he only does like one thing. A helpful thing, but only one thing, so let's get that bit out of the way. If I can't find the global he needs, I have a spare on hand, which I can use, so... 
all the balloons. And what's this? Another crack? And I just vandalized Mumble Skull too! Oh wow! All sorts of destruction of property going on right now. Anyways, we're now at another portion of the building. Hello! And let's go check this out. Yep, it's Tip Tap! Hi, I'm Tip Tap! Uh, he was the character in Diddy Kong Racing, one of the characters you could play as. He was also in the first Benjamin series, he was the head of a choir. And he's here now and he wants to get his egg to hatch. And he looks different in all three games, like he's really small and tiny in the first game. Then he's like big and chunky and Kazooie, and here he's like, he's still big, but he's much skinnier. Anyways, let's get Mumbo out of the way now, because he's not going to do much otherwise in this level. I just think it could be for the best, honestly. Alrighty then, let's... Alright. Hey there, MJ. Alright. You got the Abbey Global, we'll get to you in your pouch, and then you can do your little dance and help us get farther. Thank you, good sir. Nice. So yeah, Mumbo has the one pad to use here, but again, it is very helpful. It's so, you're going to spend most of the dry skin on the water, and, of course, nobody can be friend of, of the water. You have to be an aquatic creature to survive down there. In reality, in most, and for most of the game, yes, but here, we're going to defy nature itself. This spell is sunlight, which apparently makes the water, water oxygenated enough to leave it somehow. But what does it do to the actual aquatic life in there, but whatever. This is silly nature of Bandicasuri right here. Yep. And so that's the justification for spending the whole love on the water. Weird one, nonsensical, but Hey, it's a video game. God, it was a little bit to have fun. And that's partially why I wanted to go get the one swimming ability now, because I wanted to get the, this bubble of ease. So. We're not going underwater just yet, though. We're going to go explore some of the local locales here now. First and foremost, let's go and check out this little shack down here. Let's see what we can do. Let's play out. Yeah. The Wave Race Shack. Is this what a long last sequel to Wave Race Blue Storm is? Oh, it's Blubber. Captain Blubber. He's a character from the first game. Find the treasure trip for when you help him get his gold back. That's about all he does there. But he's back here and he's down his luck again. So, what's up with him now? Yep. The amazing business seems to suck for him. This is why you need the balloons for, because the haggle with the people. Yep. The last thing he wants here. <laughs> That's all he gives us. You never see him again, though. You don't even see him in Jollies, even though he should be there, but. I hear a ginger in here somewhere, but where? There he is. Let's go and get him. Right. Okay. Can we climb up that? Yep, we should be able to. Yep, there we go. Let me 
got ourselves another Plant Ginger, I believe. Huh. Yep, we got another Plant Gingers! That's fortunate. Let's grab this and let's keep going. I mean, really, the, the, I said this in the Lego Shrine, but unlike the previous game, Dungeon Joe Kazooie can walk on water with the uh, shoes in this one. Which is useful because it's like this, because we only got one Ginjo. Let's get another Ginjo! Incredible! Really incredible. Now yeah, let's go ahead and take care of some of the blooms here. I'm not gonna go down just yet. Just don't want to see in the town itself. Oh my god! There seems to be some beach fairs over there. Let's go set that up to. Alright. Oh my goodness. That's spooky. <laughs> This is not much too much. Let's walk the pool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of an actual pool there for you, I'm afraid. But anyways, that cleaning the pool is going to take two worlds to do. One took me at the very end of the game as well, so... It's gonna be quite a while before the pool's fixed. That's it, I think we can do something about it right now, at least the pollution part. Let's see. Okay, we'll just open this up. Go in. Yep, we already have early access to another blasted stage. We're in the basement of some later area. I know what the area is, but I don't want to say it yet for suspense for reasons. Oh, yeah. Hello. I don't know why I knew that was gonna be fake, but I went for it anyways. Anyways, is there anything I can do here yet? Or is this just decorative fluff? Oh, there is! There's a jiggy we can't get yet, but we can at least the pollution off, I think. Yep, that should shut up toxic waste disposal. If only they had a tentacle was like this, then the whole problem could have been solved at the very beginning. But nope, time travel had to be involved in that one. They may stop the pollution, but it won't necessarily make the lot any cleaner now, would it? You can't make it hot though, or warm. That's gonna have to wait for later on, but... Anyways, let's see another sneak peek into a future world, and... Not the last one, either, so let's get going. Let's actually take care of the stuff here, where it matters. Anyways, let's go in the jollies now. Yeah, there's once upon a time we could have taverns and bars and kids games and nobody would bad eye. Well, I did, but now I always found a way to sidestep this stuff. They've been cheeky like that. Alright then. Hello. Alright. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, let's get hammered. No. Yep, Blubba says much. She got eaten by, uh... Yep. Cause there's... Right on the nose of that one. <laughs> you can choose to blow up the door instead, but I'm feeling nice. You, you can't run out the balloons. You, you're not gonna screw yourself over if you pay for it. So I'll do it instead. There we go. I want to be nice right now. I'll give Joy some money so I can go in there and open that up. I don't care for her as much as you do, but I'll go and find her. I'll do that much. 
Let's grab some notes first. There's a whole section of joys that's locked off right now that we can't get to yet, but we will later. Alright. And yeah, there's a... Yeah, Jam Jaws dug a hole here, it seems. And he wrecked the perfectly good... In. Put it in the water and Barry's attack. This move will let you shoot back. Press C uh, for the aiming side. Followed by Z to start a fight. Are you gonna do it again? Nope, he's not gonna do it again. Oh well. Oops, what am I doing? Oh, is there anything else in here? Oh, again. We're taking advantage of those physics wherever possible. You can't use the cheat box without cheat code, which I don't think we're going to be getting, so... Ooh, this guy. Yeah, Captain Black Eye. In 2 weeks, he's insignificant, but if you know the development history of Banjo Kazooie and whatnot, this guy is a lot more interesting. He is Captain Black Eye, and he was supposed to be the main antagonist of what was called Project Dream. However, that game got turned into uh, Banjo Kazooie, and he got cut out of the game. But he even got so far as to have a character model and everything. I'm just gonna provoke this dude. Yeah, he's aware of the button press that I'm doing. I've seen that multiple times now. Get that? And the dude's wasted. He's upset because his game got cancelled in favor of one of the band bad. He got some doubloons out of it too, so huzzah. Uh-huh. Side egg young egg. What's more intriguing too is that he's got stuff related to getting one of the eggs and treasure trove pearl from the first game, because there's treasure trove trove itself. There's a shark food island was not before. And then there's the uh, inside of the island, which has the egg. To get the egg, you have to use a cheat code in the original game, 64 version, or if you have the 60 version, you need to either have this game or Magic Cousin has some bolts to get it. Which, I had some bolts the way at least I got stop and swap eggs there, but. That's for another time. Alright, one more place to check out, and I think we're done with uh, the town for right now, afterwards. Hmm. Pano's Emporium. And we're gonna pawn a few things off the line now, like some notes. And I hear a global somewhere, where is he? Oh, oh! There's the uh, Grunty doll from the first game. It was one of the prizes in that quiz show at the end, but he's first fun. Cool. And, uh, is he a ferret? What is he? It's kind of hard to tell what sort of animals they are. Like, is he like a ferret pirate? Pond broker? And we have... And we have more than enough to give him, so let's go ahead and do it. Simple as that. Here we got our first jiggy here. And that's about it for the balloons, if I recall correctly, but it could be wrong. He sounds so mopey. I guess that's why it is when you're a palm broker and a pirate town. Oh, Blue Tilda. There's a lot of weird callbacks to the first game in here. Alright then. I think that does it for the town itself right now, so... Let's go ahead and get deep sea diving now. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And again, I'm grateful I went and got the one move now, because I can move much faster and there's gonna be a lot of moving. Those weird things. Oh, yeah, there's a UFO down here, which we can't get into yet. So let's 
Sorry about that. You can't kill these things, but you have to stun them long enough to grab the notes. Ah! I thought I could. A simple egg well, is enough to knock them out. But. Yeah, this place is gonna be big and massive to explore compared to Witchy World, so. Better get used to it now while we can. Again, we can't enter that yet. We need to go find a move for it. To get past these octopuses without getting hurt, you need to freeze them, which is why you need to get the ice eggs. I don't know why you have to get the ice eggs outside of the worlds instead of within them, but. Because you can easily miss stuff and intentionally mess yourself up, especially since it's so essential to getting stuff around this world. That was a bunch of places to check out. Oh, well, we, some we can check out, some we can't in right this instant. But since we have unlimited oxygen down here, we can take a sweet time, not to rush ourselves. Just, yeah, let's get this trouble note here. There's items that's left to get, I believe. I don't know what they are, but... Oh, and there's those enemies, which... All in I think they come from Donkey Kong 64. Because it's like this... Pufferfish enemies to 64, Gloomy Galleon, and... They may... That, those look almost just like that. Oh, and here's the Seaweed Sanctum. Let's check this out. I don't know how much of this we can explore right now, but... See what wait just oh oh god all right what check that right. see if there's anything of interest up here it's actually kind of hard to tell what seaweed's alive and what's not as weird as that sounds I'm just but I'm trying to remember what was in this area. Let's climb up. Let's... Is that Jinjo or is that Minjo? We'll go and find out. Okay. Oh, stay away from me. Let's look around first before I. Oh, there, there it is. There he is. She. I don't know what if Jin Jinjos have Jinjos actually. Wait. Let's do the. Ninja test. Okay, he's good. We should be able to get him. I'm finding a bunch of purple gingers lately. That's kind of interesting, but. What can I. Let's see. Alright. So, what's over here? I honestly don't. forgot. I don't remember this place too well. We're at the sea bottom. Which is kind of... Oh! This should be helpful. Uh... Let me look around. Yeah, there's a warp pad. Yeah, that's... Helpful help to stop, but... Let's see. What else? What else? Okay. Oh yeah, there's a giant... There's a giant sea monster. It's harmless, really. Just gotta break its teeth open. Oh, I'm not gonna blow on on eggs as well. In case you've noticed, you've seen these transparent fish that have stuff in them. There is a way to get them, but we don't have that yet. I'm trying, and I honestly forgot where you get the move, but... Because there's three moves alone here. One was because we basically planning to attack this. So. The other is making a glide, and the last one is uh, turning into an underwater torpedo. Right. Do I need to use grenade eggs? Okay, I don't have to, but it's more, much more effective if I do. Okay. Right, I think there's one more tooth left. Let's see if I can get it. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll, he'll be able to eat anymore, and they'll probably die about the life of this chief, but hey, we need to rescue someone, so... 
I thought she had three eyes in a talking portrait down there. It freaked me out when I was younger. I was like, so she went into a different toxic pool? That's not the case, though. Yep. We rescued her, and now we can go back to Jolly to get the Juki from him. But that can wait. We have other things to do in the water, first and foremost. Yeah, a lot of destruction and damage to this world so far. We destroyed a bunch of... We destroyed a house, a monument, and we just basically ensured that this fish is going to have an agonizing, painful death. But we could not able to consume or chew anything, but... Oh well. Okay, then. Okay, so... Oh yeah, this place is also amazing, because this is only one of two entrances to the... I say, oh yeah, let's go check out the other entrance. Okay, then, so let's freeze the octopus over here. Which looks a lot like the Quactopus from Donkey Kong Country, but again, that could be a coincidence. Quactopus is not have beaks, if I recall correctly. Ooh! Well, we're in a position where we can do another boss fight. And there's a bunch of lockers down here. Fun facts are all these lockers are the names of rare employees, like Steve Malpiss. I don't know who they are. Uh, Steve Males, Lost Steve's. What's this one? Edward Bryan. Grant Kirkhope, uh, let's see, SS, I don't know who that is, okay. Matt Wilson, I think that's his name, I could be wrong. And then there's David Jones Walker, David Jones is not a boy at that, it's not, but uh, yeah, let's go in here and we can do another boss fight already. This one's not as cool as Mr. Patch. It's kind of a similar principle, though. So, I really don't care too much for the boss in general, despite that. Even though its name's kind of goofy, and apparently its music was cool enough to put the Smash Brothers, but... Lord Wu Fak Fak. I didn't swear to it. It was F-A-K. I didn't... They blame Rare, they're the ones who put in silly names for the bosses and characters. <laughs> I don't know about the killing, draining the home thing, but yeah, it was gonna take a jiggy. One thing I can say about this boss, which I'm not showing off here unfortunately, is that there's actually multiple ways to go about this bit. Killing this guy, but again, I can't show you because I don't have his ultimate face. You can attack him with a certain move, which I don't have yet. Otherwise, you have to use grenade eggs again. Or you can use another, or you can use the transformation here to attack him, but I don't have that either. So you got his boils, which are glowing for some reason. That's not what I was going to say. And even though he makes the injured noise, touching him does not hurt you. It's not a banjo. See if I can head in. Yeah! <laughs> That's pretty graphic for an E for Everyone game. Like, there's no sugar cutting that. I make popping this boils and there's like a lot of blood gushing out from that. 
really graphic for a, a kid's game. Like, did the ESLB, was the ESLB a Super Nintendo's game? Like, I think it's still made E for everyone on the 360. Well, maybe it got bumped at the E10, which I guess is more appropriate, but it's like... So much innuendo, so much nasty stuff going on in this game. It's incredible. And let's get us out of oil here. Yeah? Hold on, so let's keep... But even though this is basically the Mr. Patch fight on the water, it just doesn't come off as this remarkable to me, largely because the music isn't as interesting, the boss doesn't look as interesting. It just doesn't have the same gravitas that the Mr. Patch fight had, but it's still okay boss fight. Okay, also I think the balls are hard to hit the patches off, but that could just be me. Alright. As much as you have to hit in a specific order, you can hit whatever patches you want on Mr. Patch, and... Great, I'm stuck in his mouth! I want to get out! Okay, now I'm out. No, I'm not! Okay, let's get out and let's hit his boils. Let's make him bleed. You also have to be more precise with the shooting, I right? seems. Which doesn't help matters. He did it in the general vicinity of the patches with the previous fight, but here you have to actually hit the boil spot on. Alright. Also, the more you shoot, the more spark she shoots at you, which is about right, but there you go. He's not done yet, though. Now you have to hit him. Yeah, he's blind, apparently. Now you have to hit him in the eyes! Which, they don't bleed, but it still seems painful to actually hit the little fish in the eyes. But, other than that, nothing's really changed about the fight. He'll do this little thing where he'll shoot bubbles at you, but it doesn't seem to do anything at all. I think it's supposed to trap you, but I never seem to get hit by it. At least I know it doesn't appear to you. I could be wrong. Like, oh, It's hard to hit his eyes for some reason. Yes, I think so. Yep. It's like really hard to hit his eyes. I'm on Sarah Bates. Let's go and take care of that now, shall we? Yeah, I never get hit by those bubbles. I don't know what they're supposed to do. Are they supposed to capture me? And I keep getting hit by those, though. All because I want to hit the guy's eyes. Much harder it seems, apparently. And okay, gotta go get more eggs. Hopefully I don't die. Alright, that one's a go. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Right. Steady as he goes. And... Come on. It's so hard to hit him in general. And I've almost lost all my health. That's charming. Oh well. Okay. Yeah. You can't hit me. I gotta hit you. Alright. Last set should do it. Dang it! Oh boy. And yeah, you look for the other don't you? That's why you're giving me such grief right now. All right, let's get going. Let's make it. Mon there we go. Jeez. That's now you see why I don't like this fight as much as they do, Mr. Patch. He supposedly dies here, but he could still he still talks to you if you stay in here, so he could just be faking it. I don't see how he could do how he can do anything, it seems like he's stuck in here. But whatever. Off we go. Dodge me and Okay, let's continue 
exploring uh, the West Biological Lagoon at the moment. And hope we make some actual progress somewhere. It doesn't happen a lot of areas in this level seem to be blended in at times. Which, again, makes not getting it much, much more tricky than it needs to be. Like, have I been here before? I don't know. A lot of these pathways are kind of have the same octopus or so block. I think I have been here before. I think it's hard to tell. You know, kind of blends in. I guess I've been here before. There's a high confused I can't get yet. Oh boy. Let's see. What's over here then? Okay, where have I been? Like, I'm confused. Have I been down this pathway or not? I honestly have no way of knowing. Alright, excuse you. Well, we'll find out when we go over here. If there's giant fish is over here, then. Yep, I think I've been here before, have I? Yeah, I have. Yeah, this is like maze like the political spine, but in the water. But this is not the first match to get when it comes to its worlds, and it's still got some pleasant things here that we actually get to an area. But going to and from an area can be frustrating. Because they use fire eggs in the water somehow. Like, well, that's kind of nice. Well, it still comes to attacking, but not so much uh, other aspects. So, what's up here then? Yeah, like, that's over here then. Sorry if I'm trying not to be silent, but it's like... When, I, when I'm having a lot of fun, I can be very vocal and talkative, but when I'm not, it kind of becomes a bit of a guessing game of what I'm doing. So what I'm thinking. Alright. We're inside a... Oh, we need that one move oh so badly. It's ridiculous. Let's have a ginger, a blue one this time. Okay, I know what we can do here, but we can't do anything here right now because I still found the one move we need here. Let's go and take care of that. Let's go back out to the main hub of Atlantis, so to speak. I'll try to. It's gonna be hard if this octopus doing its thing. Oh, I can't. Tangles keep getting in the way. There you go. I actually swallowed it, apparently, if I, that noise is indication. Alright, down as we go. What does. What's. Okay, we need to actually open this place up. Which is not that hard to do, but we need the right tools for it. Okay, let's look. Alright, see the symbols there? We gotta use those to open the door. Okay. No time limit though, so... And these little mermaid statues are the key to... Okay, I swear these mermaids are based off the one you can visit in tier 64. I could be wrong about that, but it feels like a lot of... If not the usage, a lot of inspiration from the... DK64 assets. Okay. Okay, got that one. Sorry if I keep going back and forth, I'm not too attentive to the uh, patterns on the door. Right. Right, those three patterns, this is all the. Okay, let's go right. Let's get this. Okay, and this should be last. And now we open up that pathway. There's another door I think we have been using this method. Let me go double check. The one over there. And there's some mods over there too, so let me go and get those as well. Now, compared to the first game, finding notes in Banjo 2 is actually much, much easier, oddly enough. This was already open. Uh, we don't... 
I don't know if I want to do that yet or not, but let's go ahead and go in here next. Let's go ahead and deal with what's up inside here first. And this is the Temple of the Fishes. Alright! Oh yeah, I remember this one very well. Uh, yeah. There he is. Crispy Bacon, of course. Apparently he's actually named after a legitimate uh, developer there, right? There's a guy named Chris, Chris Bacon there. And this is kind of a homage to him, and of course he's making a pig as well, so... That's also why he's got the UK trousers on him, so... Yep. And he's got a Game Boy Camera on him! Which he still has in the 360 version, because who said of a Game Boy Camera? This day and age. But yeah, we gotta help him before I get up a chicky. So, yep. We'll go down. Yeah, let's go down. Let's get ready to try to protect them. Which is not gonna be an easy task, but this is what the underwater shooting was made for, so. Yep. And it sounds a lot like the snacker theme from, uh, yeah, this has a lot like the snacker theme from, uh, Dr. Kazooie. And in fact, I think both- whoops! I am so horrible at that. This is gonna- okay. I'm sorry. We'll try again. That's my fault. I wasn't paying attention. Both the snack of and this film are actually based off of a track from Project Dream. A lot of the music from Project Dream was really repurposed for uh, Banjo Kazooie. Alright. Let's go ahead and give this another go. Hopefully, not bug it up. Okay. Okay. There's another one there. Okay. Okay, simple eggs will work too. Okay. Okay, how far have we gone? Oh, I saw another one. Oh, I got another one over there too. Whoops. They just seem to come from all over the place. It's a little nerve wracking. But, okay, we can do this. Oop. They can make, make these little gulping noises when they get hit. Oh no, oh no, no. And, oh no, I knew one hit them. That's no good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try again. That was my bad. It's really hard to keep notice. Everything's pinkish in the water. Like, it's blue, but anything, it's kind of hard, especially since it's hard to see. Get it clear. Ah. Oh no. This pig is from Caton Institute, that's why all these piranhas are going after him. Right. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay. Just circling around. Trying to make sure he doesn't get nipped. Which I am also paranoid. Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, they. There's one. Where's the other one? There you are. They're coming from like four places, not any more than that. Or am I wrong? It's like I come up from those one or two places, but I could be wrong. No, 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 no. Okay, we can do this. I hope we can do this. It seems like I come from more than one place, but I could be wrong. Okay, nice, we did it. Incredible. Alright. Best of luck, but... 
I was worried that I was going to be in the stream, that's the stream with this stuff and over again. Surf PTSD from Wednesday, but... Hey then, here's our next Jiggy. And I wonder if I can see him again for the rest of the game. That's okay though. Alright. Got another Jiggy, and let's hide out of here. Okay. Let's actually go into the big temple we saw earlier this time. And there's one more place we can. We can't explore just yet, because we need a certain thing to check it out, but. Well, I'm getting lost. Yeah, we need to go down. Oh, let's not go make the pad too when we're at it. Yeah. That should help a lot. Let's go down here. Electric heels where? And what awaits us in this way, I wonder? Okay. A silo! Zed launches bird, just watch her go! Through the water, like torpedo! Control stick to stay in A for speed! B to cancel if it's banjo you need! This is what we needed. This is a super important move to use. Because you're gonna need to get through a lot of areas in this place. Alright. Let's get out of here. We don't need to use it in here right now, but I'll go and show you the move once we get outside. Okay, yeah. It costs five minutes to use, but basically. Because it becomes an all torpedo, which... Oh! Whoa, whoa. Very out of control, too, but you can use it to open up new areas you couldn't visit before. And you can also go through those transparent fish, which is handy for, like, collecting objects within them, because I think one has a Jiggy, one had a Honeycomb which saw earlier, but... Anyways, let's go check out this tempo we opened up. I'm sure there's going to be something useful in here. Alright, then. And this would be the ancient swimming baths. And... Hello! Alright. Let's make our way through here. It's a split pad. Wait a minute! I knew it was a fake from the get go, but apparently didn't have enough time to be back out, so. Anyways, let's look around. Okay, let me double check. Okay, I'm really confused. I shouldn't be, but I am. Oh. Is that a move to get in here or no? I guess it's not. I know what you need to do in here, so to speak, but I don't see... Oh, he's in one of the corners, I believe. Isn't he? Is Chantos here? I guess Chantos isn't here. But yeah. Okay, I... I could swap? He had a move here? I don't know, I guess that's all of the moves you can learn from Chantos in this world, but never mind. I guess we have to backtrack it on the heart, considering it's just the Cheeto page, but... Alright, let's keep going. Let's see, now that we have that one attack, we should be able to explore a bit more of the plant as we could previously. Alright, let's see if we can get some more, uh... Uh... Ice eggs, which are not here, it seems. You don't have to walk back. Oh, we can go and walk ourselves to the big fish cabin. That's gonna take us to the one thing we need. Oh, we don't need to use that again, so let's just. Nope, not yet. Nope, I don't want to walk out of here. Let's get going. Oh wow, the teeth are still on the floor and everything. That's incredible. 
Okay. Okay, there we go. Close the octopus. Now let's get going. And let's check out what's down here. Yep, let's go ahead and get the one, uh... Let's get the one honeycomb, if I can. That helps. No, that really helps. There you go. There's one other thing we keep left here to do, but we can't do it yet. We're gonna have to make our way out and do it later. But that's okay. Oh, oh well, we froze it, so. I'm almost out of ice exits, that's not good. This is gonna take us back to Atlantis, but at the very least, we should be able to figure things out from here. We're in the treasure ship part of Atlantis, which why not go ahead and do it right now since we already have? Especially since we have the movie we can do this part. Alright. That said though, I do want to restock on the ice eggs so we can progress a bit more smoothly. Because I think I know what's coming up by this. Okay, I am just wasting time now, so let's get moving, let's progress far further. And here we go. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna go back to the gulch mine if things go the way they are. We need to use the ice axe to freeze the fans. I'm getting up at the water supply barrel we saw it back earlier. Alright. May as well, if we're doing this already, so. Okay. And here we go. And that was all to get an uh, orange ginger. On the flip side, we got a jiggy because we got the orange gingers, which is nice. This is something I can get here now that I don't think I could have gotten before. Let's go ahead and do it. I mean, as well. Uh, Alright. Yeah, we need to go back to that one water cave that we skipped over earlier. There was a gazillion ship board down there that we can now break with the town torpedo. So let's go ahead and get to it. How good would it be if the stream and open and end it with Glow Gulch Mine, but that's not gonna happen. We're gonna take care of that as soon as we can. Okay, I believe it's this way that we need to go to. We gotta make our hall butts back to dry out the bay now, but we may as well take care of business here while we can. Let's get going. It should be over here, I believe. Yeah, it's over here. This is the little girl, and as you know, it goes round and makes the big old thing grow. Uh, sorry about that. For some reason, there's a... There was this old Doctor Too special, The Grinch Grinch is the Cat in the Hat. There's a song there that for some reason... One of the lines in there sound like the segment of Blue Gulch Mines melody here. It's a coincidence, I'm sure, but it's kind of weird. Maybe I'll showcase it, or maybe not, or maybe not on Twitch. Maybe I'll make a video of it on YouTube. Maybe, we'll see. Alright. We open up a new pathway, and we also don't have the oxygenated water here, but we do have the bubbles, and where am I going? Okay, down here, of course. Let's see. This is going to be an access way to yet another level we haven't visited yet, but this is the only way we can get to that portion of the level. Alright then. But Hailfire Peaks, which, again, we're not going to be visiting for quite a while, but why are we here? 
<laughs> why is the family so slow? Oh, this is why. This is what we need the ice key for. To open this giant ice locker. And what's inside it? A giant globo. Or as Jam Jaws calls it, the Mega Globo. And maybe I'll just show it off to you at the end of the stream. Who knows? Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Anyways, that's pretty much all we can do with uh, the little glitch mine now, again, but... I wasn't expecting to get dumped back here so soon, but that's kind of how it goes, I suppose. Alright. Time to claw way out. Back here, too. Lovely. Very lovely. Oh, well. And the other barrel, I think, goes to Grunty Industries. Well, maybe I'm wrong about that, but... I think I've had enough of Glow Gulch Mine for the time being. At least... Let me check something. Let me get the police. I'm missing a jiggy here, I don't know which one. I'm missing two, but I know I have to get one later, but I don't know where the other one is. I'm not too broken up at that, let's just get out of here. Alright. Actually, I think I have enough uh, honeycombs for a life extension. Let's go and see. Also, how many. Uh, I am one jiggy short of a uh, next world progression, but oh well. Let's go ahead and get the health extension from Honeybee. Hi then. Hello there, you freak of nature. Such a catchy song too. It's so annoying, but I can't help but kind of tap my feet to it. Uh -oh. Alright, where's the empty honeycombs? Now, yeah, high energy. That's gonna be helpful, so it all pickles off. Alright then. What to do now? Oh! There's a place in Spot Island I'm gonna go check out right now, actually, and then I'm probably done with Spot Island as a whole afterwards. Let's go ahead and take care of that now, and then maybe do some cleanup at, uh, do some cleanup at Johnny Roger Bay if I can. I have, like, uh, 15 minutes. This should work. Whoa! Slow down to the end to be there. Alright, let's go back to the home sweet home. And see what happens. May as well go trade in the Cheeto pages I got too, just because. Alright. Down once we go, and then let's have Kazooie break the ball over here. And there's another black ginger! Of course they'd be trapped down there here with nobody to help them. Of course. Alright, anyways, let's go ahead and take care of the shooter pages, I guess. Should be able to... Yeah, I can probably climb up there, perhaps? Let's see. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think it's climbing up the wrong way, but uh, okay, fine. Be that way. Um, Angel of Blue. I was in here not too long ago, back when it was still in one piece. For some reason, this portrait of Grunty's blown up here. For, I don't know why. Like, it's torn up, yeah, but it's much bigger than it was. I don't get why it is, but... Hey there, Chiro. The name sounds like a serial brand. If you want cheat codes to get farther in life, try out Cheetos. They're magically good. I want better cereal slogans. Yeah. 
Again, I'm not gonna prioritize getting the cheer pages because some of them could be really hard to get and they're not needed to beat the game, so. He also doesn't talk about Yoda anymore. He talked about Yoda in the first game. And again, it seems like they got lazy with doing the verbal ticks they had originally. Alright. First you is feathers. I know, may have temple, coach and uh, letters. I get pretty well. I think that gives you infinite uh, feathers, which actually isn't a bad thing. The cheats don't affect anything. They basically give you infinite stuff like they did and they didn't give you infinite, but they gave you they basically just help you with your supplies. That's not needed, but okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can accomplish anything in the the Dryer Bay before time's up. Which that should be called. We have like still 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and give it a go. Alright. And to the side of the girl, and back to the uh, cliff top we go. And therefore, back to the lagoon. We also need to get the chicken from Jolly as well, I almost forgot. Alright. And once we go, let me get some more ice eggs too. Alright. That suits us well. And now, we sh yeah, let's go ahead and talk to Charlie and get all jiggy. Oh, we haven't explored the rooftops of uh, Joy Water Bay's Idol. That's something we should do. Alright. Dancing on the table, I see. Alright. Well, I thought you guys wanted the ginger beer so badly earlier. Oh well, we still got a jiggy out of it, so that works out well. Okay. There we go. Let me double check something in this corner before we go. And we opened up the pathway to get in there. I think I did that last time I played the game on Lame Love. I probably should have, but oh well, I took care of it now. Let's go and check it out. Yeah, we have a lot to check it actually. Alright. First things first, up here. Yeah, I don't know if there's there being something up here, but let's go and see if it was. Like, jump. Why you testy little whatever you are? Look at any of them. Look at your pages up here, that could be wrong. Oh, honeycomb, that's good. That works. Alright, go away. There we go. Nice, juicy, empty, hollow honeycomb. Those not funny units. There you go. Whoa, 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 the... Oh, I think that was a Globo. I gotta go and get that, too. Alright, it shouldn't take too long. Oh, I need it. Easy does it. Alright, let's go ahead. Whoa! Okay. Grab whatever that is down there, and we'll go see what's inside Jolly's room. Yeah. Alright, keep sliding, Banjo. We'll get there eventually. And it's gonna be right over there, I see. Alright. There you go. Behead that thing, whatever it is. It's just a nap, I must say. Skull Beach Beach Skull. I guess that's referring to the secret pathway in Mumble Set, but I took care of that quite a while ago, actually. 
Oh well. Back inside the tavern. Oh, oh yeah, whatever you want to call it. Let's see. Sleeping up here? No. There's a pathway down there. Let's see what's down here. Back in Atlantis. And we're at the smuggler's cabin. And there's a cheeky there that we can't get yet, but it's a point that we're in here anyway, because I think there's a lot to the smuggler's cabin and that we need to explore. Okay, first of all... Yeah, that fish has a cheetah page. Let's go ahead and nab it while we can. And he's... So it is very hard to control, and she's like this. I think you have to like ram yourself straight into those transparent fish to get the thing. Yep. But I got it. But yeah, even if I can't get the jiggy up there yet, I can still. I still think it's important to pee down here, anyways, because, well, that. Let's break it open. I think that's going to take me elsewhere, but let's go ahead and do it anyways, because why not? This is going to take me to Grunting Industries. Which I've already been to before, and I guess it's more than a level, but you already saw it when you opened it earlier, so... There was no point for me following that, but okay, let's get out. But yeah, we're going to go check out Grunting Industries again. And why are we just here? Back in the race, I suppose, of plants. A ginger! ginger! This time it was a red ginger! I haven't seen much of those guys lately, so that's kind of good. Nice, yeah, that why sinks. Now I should be able to get back out easily. And now the water's not oxygenated. It's technically the same water from Geologic Bay, but it's not oxygenated here now. Huh. Alright. Well, it takes care of that. I must change the way about. That's alright. Okay. Let's get a move it. Let's cause yes, there should be enough place in here that be worth checking out. Yeah, down there in the smuggler's cabin. There should be uh Is there nothing no another pathway down here? Like Is that wrong? No, oh, there is. Yeah. Um, let's see what's down here. We're apparently in the main Dodgers Lagoon area again. Oh, well, we're here. Okay. Let's go ahead and check out this UFO. This should be fun. <laughs> Aliens! I'm descending aliens. Oh ha ha ha! How can we- Qu what a coincidence that I'm talking about Elvis here. I wonder if that relates to anything else I'm doing. Or maybe I'm overthinking things. Alright, let's suck these guys out. That's a ninja, by the way. Because once you take care of what the, the aliens need here, you can't go on the UFO again. And they wouldn't put a collectible in a place that you could miss. So... Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get the other two in time. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's apt. That's apt. And I'm fed a good fling. Oh boy. There's a lot of the dialogue with these aliens that just come off as interesting, considering the circumstances of things right now. 
Let's take out the pop of this time. Yeah, this there we go. We should have had to spend this place. This isn't the last we're gonna be seeing of the aliens, both in this game and in general, actually. Okay. Before I go, I want to take care of one last thing for these guys. Now, let's get rid of this bugger here. There we go. I have to wipe out Venture on this ship. Okay, I'm gonna find the exit. Should be over here, yep. There we go. Get out of here. Off it goes. I guess see more things soon, but... I suppose the UFO didn't get flooded when we opened it up, but... Yeah, keep in mind that they are talking about looking for their kids. That's gonna be super important later on. Anyways, here they go. Now to get the jiggy, which should be they said was underneath the ship. There it is. All right. And okay then. Uh, at least if there's anything more to the smuggler's cabin besides this one little crack here, I could have sworn there was other places you could check out down there. But I could be wrong. Let's go ahead and just give it one more look see. And then I think we'll call the night. Was that the one way down here? I think I was could have been wrong, but. Seems like it was. Seems like I was wrong. Ah, that's okay. Alright. Let's go hang out the tavern. And I guess that will be the signing off point. I guess one of us sitting within the tavern itself over here that you couldn't get normally, but I could be wrong. I guess I was wrong. Love nothing happening right now, I'm afraid, but that's how it is. Alright. Anyways, let's go dance of Jolly and we'll consider that the uh, end of the stream. Alright. No problem, Maggie. I think it's a name. I can very much fish. And there we go, we did a little joy trick and that's it for tonight, that's it for the stream. And it's become pretty clear to me that I can't draw a crowd with Banatoria like I can with Perfect Dog. But again, that's what happens when Banjo has had nothing for decades. Well, Perfect Dog gets a reboot. Anyways, for those who did attend, I thank you for watching. I'll be back here again Wednesday with more Perfect Dog and again next Saturday with more banjo Tui if anyone is interested. Stay safe, keep yourselves protected, have a pleasant holiday experience, and, uh, Arvidesen, farewell, uh, so long, for whatever reason, goodbye.